Hi guys, welcome back. Today's bikini review has a little bit more of a backstory. Um, in 2019 and 2020, I was Miss World America, as you can see from my sash and crown. And one of the things that I absolutely love about pageants is not only do you get to meet all these gorgeous ladies, of course, but you also get to meet a lot of very intelligent women. And that's something that I love to advocate for is that you can be more than one thing. So you can be beautiful and intelligent. Just because you're pretty does not mean that you're not intelligent. So at Miss World America, I went on to then compete in Miss World International. And I was um, Miss International, Miss World International Miss for 2020. And it was very exciting. And one of the girls that I met there, one of the queens, <laughs> Miss Deidre Curtis, she ended up launching a modeling agency. So last September, she reached out to me and was like, hey, I have this really cool designer. I'm doing a modeling, a photo shoot. I'm coming up to Seattle, your neck of the woods. Would you be interested in modeling? Uh, so of course, your girl said, yes, please. <laughs> so this past September, I was able to do a photo shoot in Seattle. So wearing this bikini, um, the designer is Art Infinitum. And like most photo shoots in bikinis, it was cold. So in Seattle and outside doing a photo shoot and it's like 33 degrees. So totally cold, you know, trying to like channel my inner warm vibes <laughs> and not freeze. But it was really cool. So the photos that she took there, they ended up using for their website for this brand, Art Infinitum. They also have other than bikinis, they have other cool things like hoodies. So I wanna show you this photo right here. You can see, woo, that's, we had a hoodie on over our bikini. This is my girl, Mercy. I also know her from pageants as well. We all competed. She was Miss Canada and Deidre was Miss France and I was Miss World America. So the three different countries and it's been nice to collab with them ever since. But this photo shoot in Seattle ended up on a billboard in Times Square. That's what this is. So February of this past year, I got to go out and walk in New York Fashion Week. It was so fun. And I modeled for Art Infinitum. And Mercy and I were up on a billboard together, which was super, super fun. It's kind of like one of those like pinch me moments. It felt so surreal and amazing. So also... There's me walking in New York Fashion Week, see, wearing the same bikini. So now I'll tell you a little bit about the designer since I've showcased some of the fun things that I've gotten to do in this bikini. I got more though coming up. But, so this designer is super cool because, I'll come in so you can actually see, this This particular pattern is called Bloom. Like you can see it's a little bit of La Floral vibes on the bikini. But it's actually, this is an incredibly talented artist. So Sebastian creates these beautiful masterpieces of art. You can buy them on canvas, on vinyl, and then he has a clothing line. You can sell the hoodies. Um, oh, I guess I should show you the other one that I wore um, that's not a bikini, so you can see another example. See here, there's like dresses, other stuff. So anyways, it's a whole line, but all of the pieces are art. So it's art that's turned into a textile that you can wear. So it's wearable art. How fun is that? So again, one of the things I super love is things that are very unique. I don't want to be wearing the same bikini that everybody else has. I want something that feels original and fun. And you'll get this with this line because all of them are his one of a kind paintings that are turned into textile. So this particular one, like I said, is Bloom. Um, so what I like about it is I like the triangle top. It is one of my favorite styles because I feel like no matter what your cleavage size is it can look good on you so I think it's a very versatile style I um I had the string on the bottom here and it's got the ruching right here which you probably can't see because the stitching is white and it kind of blends but for me that's nice it just creates a nice cup around so I feel like it definitely creates a more form-fitting feel up front so love that the fun thing too is the strings on here I mean I have them tied pretty long but you can see they're very very long so fun things about long strings uh, you can do stuff with them so you can see here on the bottoms I have them just down flat so I can like spin like this and whack myself but you know you can also take them and put them in cute little bows like that if you want to 
I've also seen some of the other models, Mercy in particular, <laughs> take the top of this and instead of having it come up like this, she'll take it and crisscross it like this. So you can do fun things like that when you have really long strings. So that's definitely a perk. I love the, the vibrant colors. Like you can see all of the different colors on here. It's very, very bright and colorful. So I like that. I feel like um, whenever there's a really bright color and pattern, it's something that can good, look good on a lot of different skin tones. So for me, as far as like marketing wise, that seems like a big perk because a lot of these colors like lime green <laughs> pops on people with lighter skin tones, people with darker skin tones. And it's just very like flattering color because it'll tend to make your eyes pop and other, <laughs> and other things like that too. So that's what I love about the top. Um, I wish the ruching was on the sides here too. I think it would be a cool offset, but it does have the, um, the lime green that goes around and the really long um, strings as well. And one of the things they did for the line that they launched during New York Fashion Week this year is something that's only on those bikinis and not on anything else. And I'll like show it down here so you can see. There's a little, you see a little starfish here? I don't know if that's close enough to see or not. But anyways, all of the, um, all of the bikinis that were from that line have some sort of like, this one has a starfish on it. My other one has like a, just a little she shell, just something sort of nautical themed to it. So it's just kind of a fun little twist. I'll show you what the back looks like here. So it's got some pretty full coverage as you can see. So this is what the bikini looks like. It's fun. Um, I do like the back of it as well. Um, it's got good coverage on the front. It's a little, it's a little low, so I like to hike it up here because I'm always like not wanting to flash people on the other end. But the butt has pretty good coverage on the back, so I think that's definitely a plus too. It makes it very, um, you know, like most people with different body shapes can wear it. So you got little booty, big booty. It'll accentuate it. So uh, yeah, so I totally love this bikini. You know, for those reasons, I, I do like the long strings because you can mix it up. Like, I've um, taken these before and, like, you know, done a bunch of, like, twists in them and stuff like this. Like, you can see here. You can just, I don't know. It's just fun sometimes to be able to mix it up and do something that is a little bit different. So, this is Art Infinitum. Sebastian is the designer. And this is Bloom. And I love it. And it's super fun. Another cool thing <laughs> about this is, um, this is a different one of theirs, but they also do headscarves. I'll zoom in here. I was on the cover of World Class Bikini Models Magazine. I'm actually the editor-in-chief. This just launched. This is the first issue. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. But I got to model um, Art Infinitum's line. So this is in Malibu. So you definitely feel like a Barbie in Malibu partying <laughs> and wearing this line. Um, I'll show you just a couple more of theirs here. Like, look how gorgeous this is. So just a really fun, versatile line, and I definitely love it. I love the long strings, love the vibrant colors. This has been my review of Art Infinitum's Bikini Line. <laughs>